Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. So, first things first, you guys are on different angle because I'm trying to use the One X camera on the 11 Pro because judging by last video, using the wide angle camera leads to a bunch of noise. So I'm trying some things out, so bear with me. Okay, so today, as the title of this video, we're gonna downgrade A7 device, man. So we got here, you might be thinking it's the same iPad that I usually have, but no, this is actually an iPad mini 2 running the crappy, crappy version of iOS, of course. Look how slow it is, good, damn it. So, so there we go, it's 12.4.1. It's not the latest iOS 12, but I don't care. So yeah, we're gonna downgrade this iPad mini 2 from 12.4.1, 12, iOS 12 basically, right? To iOS 10.3.3. That the glory days of this iPad speedness is back, okay? So, here is the way to downgrade the iPad mini 2, the iPad Air, or, and the iPhone 5S to iOS 10.3.3. So, let's go into the video. Okay, so here's the tool. It's called VNUX by Mr. Petu Peterson. So again, thank you to Mr. Petu Peterson for the downgrade. So, if you can scroll down here, you can see here VNUX is a tool for also 32-bit and 64-bit iOS downgrades. So let's just scroll down a little bit more here. So you can see here 61.3 for the 4S and the iPad 2, 8.4.1 for the 5, 4S, and you name it. And this is what we came for: 10.3.3 for the iPhone 5S, iPad Air, and the Mini 2. Now you have to Google your iPad Mini 2 version. So if you guys go to the back of your iPad they will see a1 for something something look it up make sure it's not the iPad 4.6 I think that's a 4.5 and 4.4 maybe I don't know okay so why is 6.1.3 is uh, noted here and 8.4.1 well I'm, I'm gonna note 6.1.3 here because 6.1.3 is no longer signed anymore so if you go to IPSW.me by the way the next step is of course go to this website and download the, the correspondent IPSW for your devices so for uh, for I say so for iPhone 5s and the iPad Air and Mini 2 so yeah you can see here this is as of February 6 2020 you can see 6.1.3 is no longer signed so iOS 6 for the 4s and Mini 2 has been signed for literally what four or five years and without Apple noticing it and because of that time bug, then that that the, the time that have to make 9.3.6 and 10.3.4, Apple is no longer signing iOS 6 for the 4S and the iPad 2. So that's why this method should work to make those devices downgraded to 4S and the iPad 2. So for those, uh, so for these devices, all you have to do is go to the GitHub link, which of course I will put in the description. Just scroll down. It will show all the instructions on how to do it. Okay, click here, download zip. Of course, make sure don't forget to download the APSW. Next, you're gonna put the iPad in DFE mode. So press the power and home button for 10 seconds. So. Okay, so the iPad does shows up in Finder as in recovery mode. And just click OK, click that. Next, we'll open up our very, very best friend at downloading iOS is Terminal. Okay, so we're gonna open up terminal. Next is we're gonna go to Finder. We're gonna go to downloads, of course, to our VNUX master folder. And here is my IPSW. So make sure once you download the IPSW, you actually copy it to the VNUX master folder inside the folder right there. I forgot to record it. So next, of course, we're gonna tell gonna go to CD and then drag the VNUX master here. Enter so we can see there we are inside the VX master folder and then we're gonna type in pip3 space install dash r space requirements.txt txt hit enter and it will load the things up. Okay, so once all of these files are downloaded, which is the Python files for the downgrade. The next command is the pin command. So we're gonna type in nut slash vaux stripes i and then hit space and then go to the finder finder and then just drag the IP the trap is not working, but just drag the 10.3.3 IPSW right there and hit enter. 
and there you go it will start the process and what you do now is just sit back enjoy and have some popcorns or maybe make some tea and wait for your iPad or your iPhone 5s to download okay so we got this error so what I'm gonna do is gonna go to system preferences security and privacy please open it and let me adjust this up let's try D and you can see right there I get non source blocks so we'll click on allow anyway and just rerun the commands and we should be working okay we got this up 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 but we now have the open option so we could open and it works ladies and gentlemen but because of Catalina if you're doing this on older Mac OS like High Sierra it maybe works because I think Mojave has the same thing too and Thunder pop up okay so we got yet another error our recovery so we're gonna system preferences again privacy okay so I have to cancel it god damn and it doesn't work yeah so if you got an error like me all you have to do is just keep this open right keep the system preferences security and privacy open up okay just keep that open up keep that open up and then we're gonna go to back here again just if you guys don't want to tap this if you guys don't want to type the command once once more just press the arrow up button it will just immediately run the last command and you guys can hit enter so you guys it will easy uh, easy you guys like okay okay click open now it should be okay and hopefully no more cannot be open because it's not trusted okay so we got another one tss checker cannot be open so we cannot do anything other than press cancel it will be error go here again allow anyway arrow up run the command again hit enter so this is our what uh the tradition is so just keep doing it and keep doing it okay okay when the same thing hit open wow 10 minutes of screen recording and it's already one gigabyte what okay another one wow how many of these things man <laughs> allow anyway rerun it again oh yeah here it is if you guys are using 32 bit device have to in normal mode so you guys don't have to use the fu mode just run the same command same thing just drag the or 30 or 6.1.3 ipsw or your 8.4.1 MPSW. I might try that though. I might try it. Okay, open Sesame. Unsupported device mode. If it detected, iPads there and blah blah blah. Okay, let's set arrow up. Enter. Hopefully, this one time it works because there's no more untrusted untrusted nada okay let's just uh, reboot the ipad um, back maybe it's just uh, take too long because of those things so the ipad just rebooted again so um let's just do, do this terminal let's go to cd and the folder that i get enter and then put the iPad in the FU mode. Okay, this is detected right down there. Let's type it again. Oh, green, green boy. Okay, we got the Apple over there. And there you go my friends, we successfully downgraded this iPad Mini 2 from iOS 12.4.1 yeah, to iOS 10.3.3 Boy, you can see with the Tether Hello fonts And now let's set this iPad up and of course we're gonna block it 
of course <laughs> not lock it what is this crap and we got icloud log because i forgot to log out from the icloud all right hold on okay next hey you guys definitely want that on your icloud log device huh no bypass team <laughs> all right all right here we go ios 10 port 3.3 downgrade from ios 12.4.1 in three two one boom oh wow ios 10 i can feel it's already way faster boys i can feel it man <laughs> let's go to settings okay 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 there we go i can see there 10.3.3 on the ipad mini 2 you have to guess you just have to believe me it's an ipad mini 2 right <laughs> okay so you successfully downgrade your a7 device from ios 12 from the hell of ios 12 to back to ios 10.3.3 and of course you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna plug the update okay guys so there we go you guys successfully downgrade your ipad mini 2 your ipad air and your iphone 5s back to ios 10.3.3 and to prove to you guys here it is completely untethered i forgot to mention that in the beginning of the video this downgrade is untethered thank god so i mean i mean you guys can see here i'm turning off the ipad and i'm turning it back on there we go that's bright as apple logo and you can see no cables nothing connected to the ipad and yeah, it's very amazing, man. This downgrade method actually came out a while ago, but I just don't have the proper device because I already do A, have an iPhone 5S on 10.3.3 from a while back because I don't update that 5S when iOS 11 came out. And then also, I already have an iPad Air on iOS 7. So yeah, there we go. Untethered downgrade. Meanwhile, enjoy iOS 10. Enjoy the maximum speed of iOS 10 again, man. I already can feel this thing is just way more faster night and day man that ios 12 it's lagging it's very very lagging and of course ios 10 still also have the uh split screen multitasking so with ios uh, 12 you have the little dog and you can use oh you have it oh, oh this is control center so you have the little dog and you can use it like the iphone 10 but this thing will do all right i mean you can still the same some messages right there so we'll be opening at the same time it is still look at this it performs so much better on ios 10 and i'm so happy that it got downgraded okay too much traveling in this video thank you guys for watching and i catch you guys in the next video peace out enjoy your ios 10 device